Hello everyone, Emmy Lou here. Got paint all over me. I want to show you this um, sugar skull that I did, but I also want to teach you how to do. Um, <laughs> I forgot how to do a pumpkin. So this is the sugar skull. I'm not going to show you a video because it's super easy to do. It's just an outline of a skull with loads of shapes in it. So the pumpkin's kind of more. I don't know. It's just quite cool. So I'm going to show you the pumpkin so all you're gonna need piece of paper it's quite cool to put in your window as well so a piece of paper just to let you know obviously <laughs> this isn't me normally but um, i thought i'd make the effort for halloween i don't really celebrate it but obviously it's fun to do you know to dress up so paper pencil and we're going to do a super cool like pumpkin so let's go i'm just going to use this as reference so all you're going to need is, let's just go, I just wonder what the pay. really big, like try and get it as big as your paper, because it looks really cool if you can kind of create the whole paper, otherwise it's just too small. So then once you've done that, you want to go one, two, three three is fine and then you're going to go oh, then oh, and it's up to you I like to sort of do a bobbly bit to make it look like it's the end of my pumpkin now you can't really see and I'm covered in paint this bit round you can do this you could follow the line and just continue it round because it makes it look more like a pumpkin rather than just a circle kind of shape and then we're going to do the face. Now, before we do the face, let's just do this. One. It's like a U shape. It's to make it look like it's not just a flat object. It's kind of, it's more of a pumpkin. So we're going to do the face. So first of all, oh no. <laughs> I've got covered in paint. Ignore that. I'll go over it. It's fine. So you've got that and that. When you want to make the eyes look scary, it's good if they scour. So if they just do that, and then it's up to you what kind of shape you want to do, but I'm going to do like that type of shape. Oh. Then we want to make it look 3D because it's kind of like cartoon. So we're just going to go like that and like that. And what we're going to do is little nose. Oh just a little nose like that. I haven't even bought a pumpkin yet to, to carve, but I'm going to. Oh, I really want to get rid of that mark. Do you know what? I might tip exit. Super annoying, isn't it? It will go away though when we cover it, so don't worry. Okay, right. And then you want a really cool mouth. Now, what we're going to do is Oh, looks wicked. I love when they're really big. And then that kind of shape. But to make him look more scary, just do rectangles and triangles. But do them here because they're teeth. So we're going to rub out this bit. You can probably tell what I mean when I start rubbing it out. It's nice to put a bat in the background um, and I've done a video of a witch's kind of castle on a bat so you can add that if you like. You can totally add that um, to your picture by looking at the other video. There we go so that's Ooh, it looks kind of scary now, doesn't it? I think that looks super scary. You could put it on a plate, like you could have him on a plate, it's up to you. But we're gonna do lines. Just do lines as if he's coming. This looks like a super scary one, which to be honest is a good thing. So we're going to take chalk. Now you can paint it, you can do whatever you like. I'm gonna take chalk pastels. Ta da! And inside, normally it's light because it is got the can. It's got the candle in it. 
this could be put in your window for Halloween if you're watching this because it looks cool so that's super quick how quick was that I'm gonna smudge smudge away now my teeth look weird because I've got the tip X on there so don't worry then orange I like the idea of a bright orange Ooh. So I'm just going to colour the whole thing orange. You're going to take your time though. Take your time. I'm just not because I want to show you the end result. The more time you take, the better it's going to look. You could cut this out actually, couldn't you? You could cut it out, it would look really cool. Okay, now... I guess I'm taking another orange to do this bit, but it doesn't have to be another orange. And I'm gonna smudge. So I'm gonna blend, basically. All your pencil lines are gonna, we're gonna go over in a minute. Be careful of the teeth, because you wanna make sure you've got it, that you've got a picture. There, of the tooth. Like, you want to make sure they look like teeth, is what I'm saying. <laughs> So what I mean, right, green. I think my makeup's starting to run. <laughs> green here. Whoa, yes. Do a little blobbly bit there. Like a green, just don't colour it in and just smudge it, it would look great. Now, because it's Halloween, I don't have to have a pumpkin just for Halloween, but because it is Halloween for this particular project, we're going to do black. This is gonna look awesome. So you're literally, you could add details as well. You could sort of do eyebrows and add things. You could decorate the whole of his um, face. You could put spots or something, make it quite colourful if you want to. Woo! That bit of mouth went a bit strange, didn't it? And I think you could easily put this on your window. You could, um, I think you could, you could cut it out and put it in your window, but I'm going to get my finger, just draw over the black. It makes the line smooth. Ta -da. There we go, look at that. That was super quick, wasn't it? It doesn't have to be that quick. You can obviously take your time. But it's a really fun thing to do. And I just love celebrating things. So have a go yourself. Like, subscribe and share. And let me know how you get on. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>